I want to do uh, just chat a little bit about bevel angle and how it's um, it's not just a cut edge on a broadhead. Um, the, the bevel angle has a lot more to do with it than just being a cut edge. Um, so there's a couple different things. Um, blade profiles, we all know, um, is how you calculate your mechanical advantage. And mechanical advantage is an efficiency, we'll call it an efficiency rating on the broadhead. So typically the higher the mechanical advantage, the more efficient um, and the less force it takes for a broadhead to penetrate. Um, now, another thing that goes into mechanical advantage is the bevel angle. Now, bevel angles actually have their own mechanical advantage. So what you do is you take the actual cutting surface of the bevel angle, the, the exposed uh, ground surface, and take that by the thickness of the steel, and you'll calculate a uh, mechanical advantage. Um, so I kind of um, am coining the term a broadhead efficiency rating, a BER. So what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, the perimeter mechanical advantage, like for example our classic is a 3 to 1, and I'm taking the bevel mechanical advantage, adding them two together, coming up with a number, an overall number, we're calling it a BER. Um, so at the end of this video I'll show you a, a chart that I did of all of our broadheads that we offer, the new evolutions as well as the, the, the classic, and uh, you'll see the total number of BER at the end. Also on that is the spin rate, which is affected, uh, which the bevel angle as well as the profile affects. The big thing with single bevels um, is the ability for uh, increased penetration due to the profile and bevel angle, uh, your mechanical advantage. Um, the, the major thing with, with single bevels is, is splitting bone because of that twisting effect. As that enter, enters into a bone, you know, it splits, right? So we all know that. Now. The big thing with single bevels uh, that we at Toughhead really, really take pride in is our designs. Um, we base everything off of what works, and what works is our classic broadhead. Our classic broadhead, it, we all know, is a three to one uh, uh, mechan a 3.0 mechanical van, so it's three inches by one inches wide. What we do here at Toughhead is, is we incorporate our design. Penetration and toughness uh, is always the number one goal with us. So. Um, we are using our classic three to one, our, our, uh, our tough heads as our benchmark, our baseline of design. So we know it works. It's been around for a very long time. It's, it's been proven to work. So again, our, it's a three to one, so it's three by one. And we actually um, increased our bevel angle over the last half decade to 30 degrees. And what that did was it actually increased our spin rate slightly from 25 degrees. Um, because the 3 to 1 ratio is so efficient and it penetrates so well that um, it, it wasn't rotate. we felt it wasn't rotating enough uh, to split bone. So what we did was uh, we increased it to 30 to increase the spin rate. So let's step back on that. So your blade profile, incorporation with your degree of angle, plays a big role in rotation and penetration. So the shorter the blade profile, it is going to rotate more, regardless of the blade profile or the blade angle, okay? So you can imagine a short, stocky broadhead with a very steep angle, say 40 degrees or 30 degrees, is going to rotate more in media than a short, stocky profile at a 20 degrees, okay? So in knowing that, we know that our 3 to 1, our tough head classic, with a 3 to 1 profile and a 30 degree bevel is rotating at approximately 20 degrees. It's actually 17.75 uh, degrees of rotation in 6 inches of media. So we wanted to calculate the media at 6 inches because the deer, uh, you know, and, and at that point you're going to be getting into the animal, so we want to know how much it rotates at six inches. So six inches is our benchmark on our rotation calculations. So we know that our three to one with a 30 degree bevel is rotating at approximately seven, let's say 18 percent, 18 degrees of rotation, and we know from from many many kills and many many studies that it works. It splits bone, it penetrates, it cracks bone, it goes through. So again, that's our baseline. So what we did was we took all of our new evolution series and we tried to think about what you're going to use that broadhead for 
and how much rotation we want for that. So, for example, um, the shorter evolution, the 200 grain, the more modern style single bevel um, with the 20 degree uh, bevel um, angle, we are getting about 25 degrees of rotation because we know that that rotation, so what you're going to do now in soft tissue is tear more open. You're going to get more of a wound channel. So this is for like the white tail hunters that want a bigger wound channel for bleeding. And crushing bone and splitting bone isn't as important. You're shooting at these animals, say mule deer and down, where you know a bigger wound channel is more important, so more rotation. Uh, and splitting bone isn't as important. However, it will split bone. You know, it's a single bevel. Um, we didn't over rotate it. We feel that after you get around 25 degrees of rotation at six inches, you're starting to over rotate. And over rotation is not always better. Okay, especially for splitting bone. So. When you go to a heavy bone animal, you're going to want less rotation, but the proper amount. So again, our three to one, 30 degrees is our, is our baseline, our benchmark. We know it works on Cape Buffalo, moose, um, uh, grizzlies, and, and so forth and so on. It has big bones that we need to split pigs. Um, so that's why we went with, uh, that is our baseline. So again, the shorter stock year with the 20 degrees is getting about 24, almost 25 degrees rotation, which we feel is the max rotation for splitting a medium to, to light sized boned animal. Now, I'm not saying that this won't work on a hog or an elk or anything like that. I'm just saying we designed this with the intention of it being used for mule deer and down. Okay, your biggest, you know, your biggest hunters out there is mule deer, whitetail hunters. Um, you went long distance, so you know, we. we designed that profile for long distance shooting and opening up the wound channel as much as possible with the capabilities of splitting bone in medium size and down efficiently. Okay, so that was the, the basis behind that. So, like I said, with that profile, the shorter stockier profile with a 20 degree bevel, we're getting the proper amount of rotation for that. Now, the reason for the 300 grain and the less the, the less stocky, the when it's in between the three to one and the in the 200 grain uh, modern style single bevel um, we took that profile and we actually wanted to give a little bit wider of a cut um, and we wanted to incorporate our 20 degree bevel and we'll get into why later um, and kind of mimic the the three to one style but give a little bit wider of a profile cut uh, in a one piece head with, with tool steel uh, and what we were getting there was the low 20s on that rotation um, but what was interesting was with our profile and in incorporating the 20 degree bevel, we actually had a higher BER rating, broadhead efficiency rating than our original classic, which we were pretty shocked on because we actually went from an inch and 16th cut from our classic to an inch and an eighth, a little bit shorter and stockier with that 20 degree bevel. So what we're finding is that 20 degree bevel, um, why we wanted to push that was, uh, number one, we're using S7 tool steel, which we all know is an extremely hard uh, capable tool steel for impact, shock resistant, uh, so it's strong enough to hold that bevel angle um, and retain that edge on that bevel. But what we're finding is when you decrease that, that bevel angle of bevel, you're increasing the amount of cutting surface that's going through that animal. So it's severing arteries and capillaries a lot more because what, the reason why you're increasing that mechanical advantage is you're increasing the surface that's contacting, the cuttable surface that's contacting that animal. Just like on a three inch broadhead, you actually have a total of three and three, six inches of cutting surface going through that animal. And that is important because that's just more area, more cutting surface going through that animal. So not only by keeping you know a long blade profile and increasing or decreasing that angle of bevel, you're just increasing the overall contact, the overall cutting surface going through that animal. Um, so the reason why we did that is, you know, we, we, we played with our profile designs to get the spin rates that we felt that you were going to need for a certain game. Uh, we wanted to incorporate for 20 degrees because it increased the mechanical advantage. Um, and that's why we did it. And with using S7, we can't accomplish that. We're getting really, really good feedback from all our testing over the year, the animals that have been taken. Um, we are holding a very good edge, and what's really nice about this is uh, the structural integrity is there. 
But what's really cool about that 20 degree bevel is, number one, is extremely easy to resharpen. I mean, you can feel that bevel angle whenever you're stropping or using it by hand. You can feel it so well. Uh, most drop, uh, sharpers on the market will, will sharpen 20 degrees. Um, and even when it's not sharp, it's sharp. I mean, that 20 degrees just, just gets such a, such a sharp angle on that, that blade that um, I keep saying that, but it is sharp when it's not sharp. So, uh, it, which makes uh, maintainability for the end user, the bow hunter, uh, very easy. So, um, you know, we, we really wanted to bring that into it. And no one has done 20 degrees. And Tough Head, we like to push the limits of what we can do. I mean, you know, we're one of the only companies that have a true three to one out there. Uh, we are laminated uh, and, and the laminations process we do with our heat treat is pretty indestructible. So we're happy with that accomplishment. So we wanted to push the limits of our new one piece head. Um, and just to record, go, step back a little bit, um, we were talking about the bevel angle and the twist rate with opening the wound channel. So another thing is our, is our patent pending furl design with that larger uh, center line furl not being a 5 16 it's more like a it's actually a little more than 11 30 seconds so when that rotates that that for example the modern style broadhead as it's rotating through media we gave it a little bit more spin rate plus with that larger furl opening up i mean we're seeing really nice wound channels um and really nice blood trails with that head um so you know all that was was thought about when we designed especially the 200 grain um, so it does look a lot different than our three to one, but there's a reason why, um, you know, we wanted to have a broad range, you know, of, of broadheads in our, in our lineup now. So we have our classic, our, our, our more traditional style one piece head, which mimics the classic in a lot of ways. And we have our modern style, um, single bevel 200 grain series, uh, lineup in that series that, uh, um, we're real happy with. So. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, you know, I'll sh I have a little chart. I'll, I'll kind of show you the degrees and uh, hopefully it explains it. And one thing too, by, by decreasing that angle, um, we were able to, and we have to actually thicken out the blade to, to accommodate a larger surface, which is a good thing, which raised our uh, structural integrity on our blade. So not only are you getting that razor sharp edge, you're also getting a thicker blade than you commonly would in a 200 grain with a 25 or 30 degree or 40 degree bevel. Um, so we are really increasing the structural integrity. So, um, uh, you know, we're real happy with that. And uh, that's why we went with a 20 degree. We're using S7 tool steel. It's sharp when it's not sharp. Um, and we were able to play with designs and, and, and slim down and fatten out the designs a little bit while keeping uh, mechanical advantage high. Um, so you'll see on, at the end, like I said, we're going to have an, uh, a BER chart at the end here. Um, it, you might want to pause it. You can look through the chart. It'll show you mechanical advantage of the blade profile, mechanical advantage of the bevel blade profile, as well as the spin rate. Um, and we have a total BER rating at the end there. So you'll be able to see how all of our heads line up. Um, throughout the year, I'm going to uh, do more testing on all rotations on all the other heads that's out there on the market and add them to the list just so everybody will have a comparison list. Um, and I'm not saying other broadheads don't work and perform, you know, as well, but I'm just speaking for what Tough Head does and, and the thought process we put into our heads. So um, hopefully that wasn't uh, too much of a cram session. Um, I just wanted to get that out there. Um, you know, we're, we're using the S7. Uh, we're pushing the, 20, the boundaries with 20 degrees. Uh, we know it works. Um, I'm actually going on a hunt here very soon to test it on some big game animal, um, the new new 300 grain, and uh, we're gonna uh, once we get the animal down, we're gonna do some testing on rotation and stuff uh, with this with the 200 grain as well. So, um, hope that helps. If you have any any questions or comments, throw them below. I'm pretty good about getting back at them. You can always email us at infotoughhead.com or uh, you can always message me on Instagram. It's pretty much where I spend most of my social media times on Instagram. So. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, and